Uh, it's called for Pike. It's unique in its own manner, really. It's more or less just a heap of stones, but it's a unique heap of stones. It's the highest mountain in in England, and I think it was one of the one of the first mountains I went up to gather sheep. And this was in, I would say, about 1940, 41. I was only a very small boy. I think my favourite part of Scorful Pike is the corridor route, just underneath the main fishing of Pike Crags. And you can sit there and watch all the hundreds of people coming up and going down, and no one bothers you. But if you go on the top of the pike, everybody's having a look at you and saying, who was that old bloke there like? <laughs> It's a working environment where so many people still exist here, just as they used to. In fact, it's never changed. In little pockets and up valleys and green dales, it's life is still like it always was here. But people don't realise that. It's not just about Scorfell Pike. It's a whole range of mountains. It's one massive stone mountain that covers many valleys. It's central and it looks down. It's like a huge stairway to heaven made of rock. I've enjoyed the, um, the Lake District and Scarfell before and decided to bring my daughter to uh, come and sample it. So what do you find it so far? Um, it's been alright. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely mild. We were told we could see Scotland, Wales, Ireland from up here. We can see about 30 yards. <laughs> Scorfell is a, is a proper mountain, I would call it, because it's a rough mountain. It's, it's a mountain with hairs on its chest. It's one that, in different seasons of the year, becomes pretty hostile. A large majority of people don't see it for what it is. They're climbing the highest point in England, and that's all they're doing. Here I am on Seathwaite Fell, which might say, is, well, it's not part of it, is it? But it is. It's all so well connected. You feel part of a mountain the mountain environment. You don't have to go climb to the summit to know what mountains are about. And in my series, Lakeland Fell Ranger, I make a point of stressing the whole experience of being on the fell side and experiencing unusual facets in the gills, the crags, the, the surprise views that exist all over the place. But this area has something, and I think what it has is some kind of spirit all of its own. And it's very special and it's hard to describe sometimes. And they do something to you, these mountains. They sort of make you feel good here. They hit you right in the heart. Tell you what, don't you know the rescue team? Could they get to the top and lower me a rope, do you think? The Wasdale Rescue Team. Wasdale Rescue Team, yeah. That'd be embarrassing. Just nip round to the top and lower me a rope. I'll get down. <laughs> I hope. 